So Kenny, this early in the season, can you actually describe games as six-pointers? Well, it is a big game. You're looking at uh, the ambitions of many clubs in the division, but certainly these two, and the league position, you know, so far on the start. Uh, so that makes it a really big game. Uh, our support will go there uh, in, in their numbers and get right behind the team, which is great for us uh, travelling up there. Does this tell you, or will it tell you, how far you've come? Yeah, to a degree. And, and I think in this division, whether you're playing somebody who's maybe struggling, like, like Shrewsbury were last week, or, or, or Peterborough, or the Barnsleys or the Sunderlands that have come down, you know, they're all strong teams and very good sides in this, in this division this year and, and like I've said before you have to work hard to earn every single point that you get that's going to be the case and while this is a big game and obviously Peterborough have had a flying start and scored many goals um, uh, no game in this division is is one that you can underestimate if you expect to be up there and if you expect to pick up the, t the type of points tally that's going to be needed to, to, to get up this year. They've actually ripped up their side and got a new one and they've gelled quite well. They have and something like 18 signings but obviously you know, with the with the sales of Marriott and uh, you know players like that, they've um, generated quite a bit of income. And as you say, uh, they've they've ripped up the team. They've started again, and they found a pattern very very quickly. And um, you know, l lack of injuries is always a big thing for for any manager. And and then being able to pick a consistent team. What are you looking at from your side that you didn't see last Saturday against Rosebery? Yeah, I felt uh, that Shrewsbury sort of locked onto us with the system that they had and you know, similar to the games last year really uh, made it very difficult for us you know we gave a sloppy goal away and you know did well then to get back into the game and get a point out of it from that situation you know we weren't fluent enough uh, particularly in the first half but second half we got a good tempo going and we did dominate and and you know by the end of the game um, and by the end of that second half the crowd had really come into play and you know we got back into it well. You have Ronan Curtis back. How much did you miss him last week? Yeah, I think we looked, you know, slightly unbalanced, and you know the lads coming in haven't quite had the the time. That's all it is uh, to be able to settle into the the, the the pattern that we've developed through pre-season. And you know, for all of the lads, you can see within our our lads who the new lads are. That's that's where it is. But you know, they'll settle down. They'll find the tempo of the game, and uh, they'll find their place in the group. But obviously. With with the, uh, the the good experience runners just had uh, with the with the under 21s and then being called into the national side, it's it's great for him and great for the club. And you know, but but we welcome him back this morning and uh, look forward to you know him coming on and uh, being right again for us Saturday. His stock has slightly risen from when he went away. Yeah, maybe and some some attention as well. But you know, whenever you do get called up for your for your international squad, your full squad. And he's been a, a fixture in the 20, in the under 21s, but you know, it's congratulations to him, and it shows how hard he's worked to uh, get that particular call up. For others, they had a useful game at Reading in the week. Yeah, very good for the senior pros. It was excellent. I thought their attitude and their performance was very, very good. And um, you know, we we do need that. I know they're slightly low key games, uh, but um, where we're just working to try to keep a bigger squad, keep more people fit if we can this year. Um, and um, you know, really working hard at keeping fit enough should they be needed. And will Watmore and Walks be back in contention for Saturday? They won't be this week. Uh, Watmore Walks are more likely to be back for next Saturday if there's a chance of that. The only other injury we have is Andre Green has a, a knee injury and is doubtful for the weekend. Uh, other than that, we're you know going from a fully fit squad. And the carrot is to be top of the table on Saturday night and it's a great carrot as well even early in the season you know people can say it doesn't uh, mean anything but you know if you're competing near the top it's certainly better than being near the bottom a um, lot of hard work to do though uh, but as you say you know for that hard work for that endeavour for that good play there's you know there is a fantastic carrot there on Saturday